hello Freedom family, you haven't heard from me for a while because um, I don't know, I've been relaxing and enjoying uh, not going to court every day but of course my life is in limbo at the moment. I could either be broke and maybe bankrupt or I could be victorious with a bit of money to figure out what to do next. But anyway, we don't know yet. Um, now, just to let you know, the judgment was supposed to be today on the 6th of September, but it got delayed uh, six days, so it's actually going to be on the 12th of September. I did make a post and send an email out, but I did accidentally not change it on my website, so I hope no one came to the courtroom and got really disappointed, and I'm so sorry if that happened, but please come again on the 12th of September because win or lose, it's going to be amazing. And look, I just also want to clarify it, the judgment being delayed six days is not nefarious, okay? To be honest, the fact that the judge was aiming to do it in such a short period of time, the first time around, it was gonna be like two weeks, um, was unusual. That That's really quick for a judgment. And if you don't understand the courtrooms and stuff, you might think, oh, they're just delaying it, you know, to be a pain. No, that's not true at all. There are some cases that still don't have a judgment after six months, sometimes even a year. And the judge had so much footage to, uh, to, to watch and so much stuff to read. Uh, to be honest, I think she's doing me a solid uh, getting it done as quickly as she is. So look, it's a pain obviously because I had booked flights and accommodation and I don't get my money back for some of that. But anyway, that's life guys. Um, we just have to roll with the punches regardless. And um, when it comes to the judgment guys, obviously um, I'm very nervous. I have had time to think now and you know, I'm, what if this and what if that and all this sort of stuff. But I'm hopeful that um, um, regardless of like a big raw moment of a win, um, I think that it, I'm hopeful that I did enough to at least prevent me from having to pay the cost of the other side, which could be over $300,000. I think that I've done enough to perhaps win at least part of the case and anything over that is icing on the cake. And um, so there's three arrests and it's not just the arrest itself, it's the continuation of the detainment as well. So for example, the judge could say, arrest one was lawful, but then it became unlawful because they detained me for too long. So there's actually quite a number of variations that could happen. And all I have to do is win one of the arrests and get awarded more than the than they offered me in a deal to not go to court. This is something you wouldn't know either, is that let's say for example, you get offered $10,000 to not go to court and you say no to that and you go to court. If the judge, if you win, but you get awarded $9,999, you actually technically lose because you could have gotten more money without the hassle of going to court. So even if you win and get a, if you, if you get awarded less than what you were offered in mediation, then you could still pay the cost. Excuse me. You could still pay the. He actually stopped. You could still pay, have to pay the cost of the other side. So there's lots of variations that could happen, but I'm confident that it won't be a loss, and I'm just hoping for that. And you know, I just want you to know as well that one, I did my best, and um, so I I have peace about that. But two, no matter what the outcome is, it's it's God's will, and. Maybe God doesn't want me to win big. Maybe maybe it would make me too arrogant and it would be bad for my life. Who knows? Maybe he wants me to lose so that I'm totally humble and I can show an example of losing with grace because I will. I won't go into a corner and cry like a baby, um, although I'll feel like doing that. But anyway, so whatever happens, I'm going to be okay with it, even if it's like tough to handle at the beginning. Um, and the other thing I wanted to say, I was going to say something else. Oh, yeah. You want me to win big, and I'll tell you why. If I win big, I'm going to make a app that is customized for us, not out of the box, because, uh, and the app is gonna be all about how people can connect online, but to meet in person. And it's gonna be a freedom app. It's gonna be all about connecting freedom people all across the world. And now I know that this has been tried. I tried it. I know tons of other people have tried different apps, but the problem is, they're not user friendly. They're clunky. They're cheap to build, so they're really at, they're not at, they're not they're out of the box. So they're trying to make a, like a system that's already like in place work for them, customize it. But you need to make it from scratch. This is what I've learned doing a few things that I've done, and it's going to cost at least a hundred thousand dollars at least. And the app is going to be free, 
for life for anyone to use. And the reason why I want to make this app is for myself, to be honest, because I traveled Europe and I traveled Australia. And imagine if there was an app that you could see if there's events in that area, if you could see if there's people that live in that area um, and all the groups are on there and what they do and when their events are, of course, if they do, don't want to be anonymous, of course. So it's going to be a free app. It's going to be for everyone to use. And that is the uh, that is the deal that I have made because if I win big, which I don't know, guys, I could win nothing, obviously, but if I win big, it is taxpayers' money, and so I have to give it back. I have to give some of it back, although I'm going to keep some of it myself, and if you have a problem with that, then you're just a meanie because, like, this has taken me a lot of effort and time and four years of preparation, so if you don't think I deserve any of it for the rest for my future, then, you know, stuff you, uh, but, you know, for me to be able to dedicate so much time to a court case, for example, I couldn't have a normal job. If I had a normal job, there's no way I'd be able to do this. So thank God I had my book. Thank God I did a tour and I had some money in the bank because otherwise uh, I wouldn't be able to do it. So if I get some money from this, I can make the app and then I can plan for the next case, which is going to start very soon as well, which will be super important. Anyway, that's an update for you guys. I'll see you on the 12th of September. Bye.